Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Do the Work, where we're going to cover question 27 of the Math Proficiency Tense for Teachers in Ontario. I encourage you to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon below, that way you can receive notification for all the future videos, you can always turn that off, but subscribing definitely helps the channel grow. And the channel growing means more Do the Work videos, and that's good for everyone, right? So. For this question, uh, we need to find the volume of a particular triangular prism. And to do so, we need to know the theory behind it. And we can watch the video uh, here that's from Khan Academy. The link is in the description below or in the card above. And basically, we just need to know the formula for the volume. And for any type of prism, let's take a uh, rectangular prism, let's say we have something like this, uh, something like this, what we do is we find the area of the base. So that would be the area of the base. And then this is the length. So the volume is always the area of the base times the length. And one way you can think about this is that let's say you have a pile of paper, right? One sheet of paper doesn't really have volume. It's it's too thin to have a specific volume, but it does have volume. But just for the sake of this analogy, imagine it doesn't have volume. Well, every time you add a sheet of paper, a stack of paper essentially is a prism, right? So a brick of paper is a rectangular prism and each sheet of paper adds volume. So that's the length. So to find the volume, you find the area of the sheet of paper times the number of sheets of paper. So the area of the base times the number of sheets of paper. So the length. So here we find the area of the base. That's a triangle. And the way we do that is base times height divided by two. Why is that true? Well, we know the, um, the area of a square is base time height and it's half a triangle is half of that. So the area of a triangle is base times height divided by two. That's why. So we have that and then we have the length here. So that's the length and then times the length. So here the length is 12 essentially, right? So we can move on to step two. That's not too, too bad. I encourage you to do this by yourself. That's the best way to learn. So we will do the area of the base times the area times the length, sorry. And you'll see sometimes that the formula changes uh, for different types of prisms, or maybe they won't use length, they'll use width or something like that or thickness, but don't worry, it's the concept that that's why I explained the, the stack of paper. So the volume is the area of the base that's base times height divided by two times L let's call it L. So that's the base is 10. The height is eight divided by two times 12. So there is a few ways to do this. What I'll do here is I'll simplify this by dividing by two and then that will be six. And that way we have that and this would be centimeters, centimeters and centimeters. So we get, we're going to have 10 times eight, which is 80 times six. So eight times six is 24 at the zero. That's 240. And then centimeters times centimeters times centimeters is eight times six is not 24. It's 48. My bad. So that's going to be 480 centimeters cube. And the way I realized I was wrong there that I did the uh, eight times six wrong is that 240 wasn't in the multiple choice. So it's 480 centimeters cubed. And the way you can think about the units is that let's say you have a centimeter cube. Well, that's one centimeter by one centimeter by one centimeter. So that's one centimeter cubed, whereas a centimeter squared, that's just one centimeter times one centimeter. That's one centimeter squared. And that's for area. That's for volume. And that's for length, right? One centimeter is just 
one centimeter. And that's one centimeter, right? That's for a length. So that's why we call it centimeter squared because that's for a square and area. And a centimeter cubed is for a volume because it's a, a cube, right? So we're done. We already built a little bit of intuition, but we can move on to step three and build some more intuition. And here what I'll do is I'll ask you a separate question to, to build and test your understanding. So we have this tombstone type shape. I can even add the RIP thing if that helps, but let's not be too somber here. And we have a tombstone type shape and I ask you what's the volume of it? Well, what we can do is just apply what we know, right? It's the area of the base times the length. What's the area of the base? Well, the base is a rectangle. So maybe I'll use different colors here. Uh, the base is just a tombstone again, right? So that's the base. But in this case, what I can do is maybe I'll use a blue separate it like this. So we have a rectangle and a half squared. So that's a half squared. And the area of a rectangle is base times height. So that's going to be 10 times six, right? Base times height. And then we need to add that to one half of the area of a circle. So that's one half and then pi r squared. That's the area of a circle times the length. So L. So because we have one is the rectangle, two is the, so that's one and then that's two. That's the half circle. And so you may ask, well, what's our radius, right? So our radius is actually this is six centimeters as well. So that's our diameter. So our radius is just half of that, which is three, three centimeters. So we're good. We just plug everything in. We have, I won't put the units here, but we know it's going to be cubed at the end. So it's base times height. So that's six times 10 plus one half pi times R squared. So that's three squared times length, which is two. So I'll try to do it without a calculator as much as I can here. We have 60 plus three squared is nine divided by two. That is ooh, nine over two, I guess. <laughs> nine over two pi. And then that is times two. So I can distribute the two to each term. It will look something like this. And then when I do that, it's going to be 60 times two, which is 120. And then nine over two times two, the twos cancel. So that's nine pi. So when I do that, it will be, let's see, 120 plus nine times pi. That's 148. 0.27 whatever so let's let's round that right so now then let's just think nine times three is 27 so we know it's going to be 147 because 120 plus 27 and then a little bit more so it, it makes sense right so then or maybe I, I won't round and then i'll just write it in uh, a last row here so v is equal to 148.27 let's keep two digits centimeters cubed and that's it i hope this helped every volume problem in general and i hope it generalizes to the test as well best of luck thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video of do the work